all right guys so we're going to get stretched res in this video we're going to be playing on 1720 by 1080 that is the best resolution in this game you guys are going to get no input delay because we are going to be display scaling not gpu scaling so we will get no added input delay you will get more frames and it'll be a placebo but your aim will feel like it is better the targets will feel easier to hit your fov will decrease slightly but you will feel just super good for some reason when i play on stretched res i just feel like a different in person editing and building is so much smoother everything about the game just i feel like i'm just a better player when i'm playing on stretch res i don't know why go ahead and watch the whole video so you guys don't miss a step all right guys let's jump into the video and we'll move on to the first step all right guys so the first step we're going to do is we're going to right click on our desktop and click on nvidia control panel in here we're going to click adjust desktop size and position and right here we're going to want to click on aspect ratio and then where it says perform scaling on you want to click on display if you don't see display and you only see GPU, that means you cannot do this method and you have to use GPU scaling. You guys can just go ahead and look up how to get stretched res. Basically, every other stretched res video is GPU scaling. So you guys can just follow those videos and you'll be good. And you're going to want to click apply over here because you did make changes. I obviously don't see that because I didn't make any changes. You just click apply, click OK, and then we'll go ahead and go on to the next step. All right. So on your keyboard, you're going to press the Windows and R key at the same time. And this little box will pop up at the bottom left you're going to type in percent app data percent and click on ok now right here you're going to click on app data then click on local find fortnite game then save config windows client game user settings right here you are going to want to right click on it properties and make sure read only is not checked then you're going to want to double click it so you can open up this notepad then you are going to want to find where it says the resolution that you use it's going to say resolution size x so right here you want to make sure that it says 1920 by 1080 and you're going to want to put that here as well and on these two right here mine already are so these two make sure these are also 1920 by 1080 and then click on file click on save and then close it all right all right so the first link in the description will take you to this website this website is where you're going to install cru custom resolution utility so we're going to click on this blue text right here cru 1.5.2.zip click on this and your download should start go ahead and open up the file location yes i've downloaded this multiple times so just open up the file location minimize your browser and then just drag this onto your desktop all right and close files so i have Windows winrar installed but it's fine if you don't you can still extract the file it doesn't matter so i'm just going to extract it to this folder which appears right here then we can go ahead and just trash that if you want it doesn't matter open up this folder then in here we are going to click on cru.exe double click that click on yes and now we have this little box this is the cru application this is how we're going to get stretched res the first thing you want to do is make sure that we are selecting our main monitor that we are actually going to want to install stretched res onto mine is this one right here so the first thing we're going to do is right here we're going to click on none that's going to deselect all these we don't want any of these selected the second thing we're going to want to do is click on this extension block right here. Make sure it's highlighted blue. Click on edit. Now, right here in this little box, there's going to be some options. One of the options should say your native resolution with the highest hertz there is. So mine is 1920 by 1080 at 239 hertz. I'm going to click on this, click on edit right here and then click on copy. We're going to paste this into our stretched res later. So just go ahead and click on okay. And then in here, what we're going to do is we're going to just delete all of these and click on okay. Don't delete this, leave that there. Right here, we're just going to click on delete all of these all of them then click on add and then click on the drop down menu and find 1920 by 1080 and leave it at 60 hertz don't change that press ok then right here we're also going to click on delete all we don't want anything in this box so click on this delete all right here then we're going to click on add and then we're going to click on paste then we're going to type in the stretched resolution we are going to use we in this video are using 1720 
720 by 1080. If you want to use a different stretched resolution, you'll put in a different stretched res right here. And then you just go ahead and click on OK and then click on OK. Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to double click on this restart 64.exe. When I do it, it's going to mess with my recording. So I'm going to stop the recording and then I'm going to double click on it and then I'll start the recording again. So right here is where you will get a black screen if this is not going to work for you. It hopefully will work for you, but it might not. If it doesn't, then do not be scared. It's all right. You guys can go ahead and revert all the changes we've made by booting your PC into safe mode. And then you're just going to press reset all. And then you're going to restart with this restart option right here. You will be able to see these options if you boot your PC into safe mode. I will leave a video in the description. It will be the second link in the description on how to fix the PC just in case that happens. All right. All right, guys. So when you guys do do it, it's going to ask you to like press allow or yes. Just go ahead and press yes. And then you can go ahead and click on exit right here. We are now done with CRU. Now we can go ahead and close the files. So from here, what you're going to do is you're going to right click on the desktop and press display settings. Then right here, you're going to scroll down here. We'll make it full screen. Scroll down advanced display settings. Then you're going to want to make sure you have the right display selected. This is my display that I made stretch res. Then click on display adapter properties. Then click on list all modes. And right here, you're going to look for 1720 by 1080. 80 right here 240 hertz click on ok click on apply then click on keep changes and as you guys can see there is a black box for you guys let me go ahead and fix that all right and as you guys can see it is stretched res the game should be in stretched res now let's go ahead and open up fortnite all right, we're in Fortnite. So we go ahead and go to our settings. And as you can see, 1720 by 1080. We are on stretched res. I hope this video helped. If it did, be sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to be posting more and more content. As well as that, I did make a Twitch. And I've been streaming almost daily for around five hours a day. So if you guys are interested in watching me just play Fortnite and having fun, I will be live on Twitch randomly. As of now, I don't really have a schedule, but yeah, go ahead and go follow my Twitch. A link will be in the video description, or you can just go to twitch.tv feverhq. I hope to see you guys there. And yeah, thank you for watching. See you in the next one.